Hey guys, it's Holly. Happy New Year! I haven't made a video in a while, so I am very, very glad to see you. I hope that you are well. So back in like May of 2022, I got contacted by Entertainment Earth asking if I wanted to do a review. And I was very excited about it because Entertainment Earth has a lot of really cool stuff. They have a lot of Funkos, which obviously I love. Um, they have a lot of cool toys, um, just a lot of cool stuff. So I was very, very excited about it. So they basically gave me a credit to buy some items. So I did, I bought three items and I think that all three of those items were for pre-order. So this was in May. I ordered items that were set to release in June of 2022. So I figured, okay, that's just like the month. I'll just wait for all my items to come in and I'll make a video. So I actually misspoke on this part. I ordered these items in on May 4th of 2022. And it said that two of the items were pre-order, but that they would be releasing in May of 2022. So I thought it was gonna just come that month and I wouldn't have to wait that long. Well, the pre-order dates kept getting pushed and then pushed and then pushed and then pushed. So the first item that I got, I got in May. So that one came out really quickly. Um, and I'm gonna show the clip of me opening that right now. I like this box, by the way. It's like, who's ready for an unboxing? So many toys, so much fun. Thank you, the wait is over. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh no, it's only the one. So I thought that this box had all the things that I ordered, because I ordered three things. But it's just the one thing. So this will be the part one of me opening. So what I got is this little Dumbledore cup. It's like a ceramic cup and it is so, so cute. And I love it so much. And what I think I want to do is I think I wanna to try to make it into a succulent pot because I've been really, really into succulents lately. And I think it would be cool to poke a hole in the bottom and make a pot out of this. Oh my God, it's so much bigger than I thought. Look at him, I love him so much. I love Dumbledore, obviously. Uh, Dumbledore is like one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter. This is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be and it is absolutely adorable. His little face, this is very good quality actually. The way that his face is painted, it looks really, really nice. He has his wand, the elder wand. I love his little beard tie, super cute. It's a very, very deep. <laughs> He's adorable! Oh, of course, I guess I didn't realize that it's designed by Jared Maruyama. I don't know how to say his last name, but I love him, I follow him on Instagram, and I love his style, so no wonder I love this. So, this is ceramic and succulents need a hole in the bottom. I have a diamond tip drill bit that you can use to drill through ceramic um, to make these into a pot. So I might just drill a little hole in this guy, make them into a little pot. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you when I get the other packages, bye. So I thought that I was gonna get all three items at once and I didn't pay attention that it was just the one item. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just wait for the other two items to come. So the second item, which is a Bugs Life wallet, came in July, so that one wasn't too bad. But then the third item, which is a little Rapunzel figure, didn't come until December. I don't pre-order a lot of items. I think I've pre-ordered a few things in the past, but usually it actually comes out the date that it says. And I don't think I've ever had to wait seven months for something to come before. Like not even things I've ordered from Japan or China. I'll just be completely honest that I think that is kind of ridiculous. And I've also seen a lot of people on YouTube and the internet complain about their pre-order um, items. So I emailed them to ask like, why did this take so long? And their response was basically, well, when we have items in stock, we ship them right away. But when you pre-order, we don't ship until it's in the warehouse. And for reviews, we typically have people order things that are in stock to avoid this problem. But nobody told me that. Um, I don't know why it kept getting pushed back. I don't know if it's even Entertainment Earth's issue or another issue. I don't really know. All that I know is that I personally don't really recommend getting items that are on pre-order. Unless you are absolutely willing to wait up to six or seven months, because I think that's a little crazy, but that's just me. I will let you decide, but I just wanted that to be out there that I don't particularly recommend 
pre-ordering from them. As for buying items that are already in stock, I think my husband has bought from them before from items that are in stock and hasn't had an issue. So I think that that's fine, but I think the pre-orders are just, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if that's normal. Let me know if you guys have bought from Entertainment Earth and the pre-orders have been fine. Um, like I said, I ordered three items and they all came at completely different times. So maybe it just is completely random. I don't know, but let's go ahead and open the other two items. The item that I got in July is this Bugs Life wallet. Now I have the Heimlich Lounge Fly Backpack and it is absolutely adorable. I got it on Amazon. I will link it down below. Also, I'll, I'll link all of the items that I got in this video down below, but yes. So I have a Heimlich backpack and it's absolutely adorable. And it's honestly, I've gotten the most compliments on that bag. People come up to me and they're like, oh my God, is that high like I'm like, yes, I saw this wallet and I was like, I need this wallet for my bag. Oh, it's so cute. He is so happy with his little flowers. I love Heimlich like, so much. The flowers are 3D, which is really cool. And he's so happy eating his little candy corn because we know that Heimlich loves his candy corn. And then on the back are all the other bugs from A Bug's Life. I don't remember all of their names, to be honest, but I love the stick figure. He's hilarious, super cute. So this zips, but this is the inside of the wallet. You have plenty of card space. There is a window here for your ID. You have a pocket here for money. And then this side, this is where you would put your ID. So a really basic wallet, not anything super special. Um, but it's a really, really cute and a perfect wallet to go with the Heimlich backpack. And this is by Loungefly. Cute. Then we have the Rapunzel figure, which again, I just got in December. I believe there are different color variations of this figure. Um, I think there's like one that's more pastel and one that's more like bright colored. I kind of don't remember now. This is so much tinier than I was expecting. Oh, she's adorable, though. Oh, she's precious. Look how cute she is. Oh, my gosh. The stand is a flower, which is really, really cute. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. The pan is so big compared to her. I love it so much. This is really, really nicely made. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. The quality is very good. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. This is my first cute posket, and I'm really happy I chose Rapunzel because I love Rapunzel. So yes, and I did actually drill a hole in my Dumbledore cup. Um, I have a plant in it, and it's been in there since May. So the plant's doing really well. So those are all of the items that I got from Entertainment Earth. Again, I think that Entertainment Earth has a lot of really great items, but I just don't know about pre-ordering things. Also, I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has purchased squishies from my store on eBay. I will also link that down below in the description. I really appreciate it. I will be listing a lot more here to come. I'm sorry, it's been kind of slow. Um, I have been working full time, so I kind of list uh, like on the weekends and stuff. I've been trying to go through some of my collections to get rid of some stuff. So keep um, an eye out for some other fun things on my eBay store. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.